Greetings everyone, I'm in court the second and welcome to a new type of video on the channel which I might or might not continue but um, I felt like I needed to do this one specifically because I have something interesting to show and because I've, I've been getting like um, a lot of requests about Aether, a lot of people asking me where's Aether, is Aether still a thing, you know is it not cancelled or something or is it cancelled and the answer simply is no it's not cancelled it's going fine. I'm still working on it. I just have been on a little bit of a hiatus with Aether and I haven't been uploading anything on top on the topic of Aether. But I'm back to it and I've been spending this time, you know, for uh, doing some progress on more mobs instead. Because you know, you do get burned out on some things and then you do do something else. So that's how I usually work. I jump from more mobs to Aether and back and forth or maybe some new thing that I haven't uh shown you yet, but uh that's besides the point. really okay forget that happened so uh, here I thought today that I might show you something really interesting that I've been working on for a while and that's actually one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading because it's just such a huge amount of work that I'm not even sure if I can handle this on my own I mean I can but it's going to take such a long time and a lot of motivation which I didn't have but now I think I have enough to be back and working on this again so that's all cool but um yeah that was all i wanted to say really on the topic of that uh, that's why i've been on hiatus because i even you know considered hiring uh, a team of people to work on this pack but i'm not still sure about that i'm still considering it but just i don't have much financial resources at the moment to do it so maybe in the future but right now i think i can handle this on my own it's just a, a lot of work all of these new dungeons all these new mobs and mechanics it's really a lot to do but I'm figuring it out so one of the big things is that they changed in 1.14 how block drops work so now uh, they introduced this new thing called block loot table and now they control what blocks drop but unfortunately some of these things don't work properly it's hard coded into the game what block you need to I mean for example if you mine obsidian with the Iron pickaxe, even if you specify in the loot table that it should drop something, it doesn't. So unfortunately that's a side effect that they still haven't fixed. Maybe they'll do it in the future, but uh, I'm honestly not sure. But uh, it's not that big of a deal for my uh, situation. I think it's fine. Either way, let's just begin. And before we jump into it, it's kind of a spoilery video. So if you want to avoid any spoilers for the Aether Beta, uh, then you should click off right now and you should just you know wait for it to come out for the testing and uh, I just gotta say that's not going to be anytime soon maybe not even in the next year that's how big this project really is uh, because also I gotta you know do college which is starting soon and I also need to work on other projects as well so I cannot promise this to come out any sooner than that so just so you know it's going to take a very long time and if you're willing to wait, then that's great for you. No spoilers, but for those who are staying, here's how it works. So I have three parts in which I divided this video. And as you can tell by the damage in some of these tools, I've already tried to record this multiple times. But there's been uh, technical issues. And I also apologize for the noise in the background. Uh, there's a, currently a hit wave um, in Chicago some some crazy stuff it's like 100 degrees Fahrenheit so we gotta keep the AC going because it's too hot in here otherwise I uh, really apologize for the noise I think I'll, I'll try my best to get rid of it in the editing process but uh, I, th I think it's I think it's still noticeable so really these guys are coming out of there all the time anyways um, they're going to receive a major rework as well but uh, later on the topic of that so let's begin with part one, tool type. Really, man. <laughs> Gonna trap me like that all the time. Okay, so. You're familiar with this mechanic. Already, because it's been in the game all the time. I'm trying to avoid getting noticed by that Zephyr. Um, I cannot get stone with my bare hands, obviously. Because you need a pickaxe, right? Well... I also applied that logic to all other blocks. For example, 
I cannot get dirt if I mine with my bare hands as well. And wood too. Now that's not going to apply to every type of block. Uh, for example, you can still break cobwebs with your sword and you'll get the web, uh, the string out of it. So that's going to be just the same. Because you don't really need to have it this way. Crazy. Uh, every single block doesn't require a specific tool to mine it. But most like the blocks that the world consists of. Like soily, uh, dirt, gravelly blocks, sand blocks, stony blocks, and wooden blocks. They will all require a tool to obtain anything from them. So let's begin. And as you can see, when I use this axe, I actually get a drop, which is an apple tree bark. Now let's... I apologize, my uh, mouse is a bit glitchy recently. Should probably just change the batteries, but I'm a bit too easy to do that. And as you can see, this dirt drops pebbles, actually. Same as stone here, but it drops way more than, uh, you know, getting it from dirt would give you. So, that's something to keep in mind. And you can tell there's uh, pebbles inside of the soil. So, I implemented that to make all kinds of sense. So, that was easier enough to understand, I hope. So just apply it to your logic to, you know, workbenches, I mean crafting tables and other tables. They will need access to be mined. As well as planks and doors and all other stuff that consisted of planks. And stony things like uh, bricks and other types of blocks of that nature will require a pickaxe. And I think you get the point. So let's get to this second part of the video and it's going to be a bit harder to explain. Let's just get back to my chest and I'll put down some items so I don't go I don't clog my inventory because there's a lot of there's a lot of items to get from here let's begin part two is uh, tool tier so that's going to be a bit more complicated but I hope you're still on board and you still understand what I'm saying and that really should not work this way but it does so let's get all of our stuff in here and by the way, golden tools, I'm not still sure what to do with these. Uh, they're going to have some kind of function, and they're going to be a special thing. They're going to be dungeon items, basically, so... You get them from the dungeons, so they must be really valuable, but they also have low durability, so I think that's a good trade-off to overpowered items. So you can actually leave your ideas for what that should do, but I want to make sure it's useful for the pack specifically. For example, if this pickaxe is auto smelting, right, it's not really useful and you'll see why really soon. It will be useful in vanilla game, but not really here, because one of the many things is that stone actually drops stone instead of, you know, cobblestone. There's no cobblestone, because uh, it's really useless in my opinion. There's really no reason for it. Okay, I gotta kill this guy, I think. Actually, no, I don't want to risk it. Sorry, uh, this, um... Uh, eh, a little break, because, uh... You know, these mobs are very... I gotta deal with them somehow. So let's begin with the shovel. Now, you already saw that I get regular pebbles. Sometimes, not even always, so that's a very bad trade-off. But once I get the stone... I actually get the dirt that I want, so that's cool. Now let's get the Zenite, and you'll see that this actually would give me additional pebbles. And if I get to Ruby tier, that'll actually give me ta -da, sticks and pebbles. But I got see that does drop sticks and pebbles, so that's a great way of getting a lot of materials. Also, a ruby drops uh, grass blocks from grass blocks. I'm going to change that because that's actually kind of cheating in my opinion. To, um, you know, getting it without silk touch. So I'm going to change that. But either way, you can technically dupe stuff with this mechanic. But uh, it, it is a trade-off with your durability. So it's not like rail duping where you just uh, get free materials. You need to trade off with your... Uh, durability on the item so I might still tweak that and make them more balanced but so far I think it's good enough for what it is now let's get the stone and we'll see that did drop a couple pebbles maybe three at most 
right. Now let's get to more interesting stuff. Stone picks actually drop stone. Xenai picks drop stone and pebbles. <clears throat> so we can see the pattern here. First it drops a kind of a shard of the item that you don't really uh, want to get it from this. Then it gets the block itself, then it gets that block and the shard of the item. And then to the bonus on top also when you reach the end. But uh, you'll see um, when each block gets like a higher tier, um, higher tier material I guess. You don't get as much bonuses because it only goes up to the ruby pickaxe. So let's actually try that. And as you can see I get the stone. But it's move instead so you don't need to smelt it anymore. You just get your group ruby pickaxe and get that smooth stone. So that's pretty useful in my opinion. Now let's mine this. And as you, you know, um, as you know from alpha, that still works, the wooden pick on orange it so you get the proper thing stone also gives you the stone from the ore so I think that's pretty cool because it is like stone and the ore so that makes a lot of sense to me now that just gives you the ore with the Zen I pick pretty useful for a later feature that I'm going to show off and oh that keeps breaking pretty annoying but let's continue and as you can see it gives us the ore and an additional piece of orange it which is amazing so we're going to come back to all of these later for a different mechanic, but let's start, start with uh, Zenite. And this is where the problem of the hard-coded uh, block drops begins. Because I would make it so that you at least get a piece of stone or some pebbles when you use this wooden pick, but it doesn't drop at all because uh, that's how Minecraft works, unfortunately. So as you can see, just drop Zenite, no Zenite ore. So auto smelt isn't really that useful in this situation. And let's keep going. Zenite on Zenite will give us additional stone. So that's a. Uh, Jesus, really. That's straightforward, as you can tell. I really gotta do something about this mouse uh, really soon. But let's carry on. And as you can see, Ruby, which is the maximum level, will give us the ore as well, like uh, with Orange. It. So that's pretty epic. Now let's continue to Ambrosium, which, as you can tell, requires iron tools and I gotta get rid of the experience as well but uh, for now just see what happens so again as it used to be it drops multiple actually it drops a lot at once so that's pretty fun and you know it's satisfying to get it that way and that gives us stone with ruby pickaxes and as you can see it doesn't give us uh, the ore itself because there's no higher tier tool ruby pickaxe is as high as it goes and unfortunately gold cannot mine that because that's hard coded. So to get the to get the actual thing you need silk touch and that's going to be another aspect of this. But let's keep going. There's a couple more blocks that I need to show you. By the way, this this is bunny ears. Pretty cool item in my opinion. Uh, they uh, just give you levitation, I mean slow falling for 10 seconds. So it's like the turtle shell. Unless you're falling, the effect is getting reapplied. So that's how that works. That's again a dungeon item, kind of similar to what we had in the actual mod, so I wanted to keep that continuity. I also want to add that mouse ears probably in the future, but I'm not sure how that will work. So, as you can see, wooden gives us just this, bark. Now stone gives us strip all logs, and let me explain, because that's a bit confusing, I believe. It would be to you, but here's the logic behind it. So when I go to the crafting table okay he just died for no reason we can craft these logs ourselves because it doesn't want to show up for some reason and we need four okay now it shows up and as you can see from here we don't actually need the bark to craft planks so this is still useful wood but when we get to xenite axis you'll see why this is important the way it is and this is why this makes sense in my system you also get the bark as well as the strip logs. But if you use the ruby axe, you just get the logs themselves. So, why this is a better drop? Well, because if you want actual logs, you either have to crap them, or you have to get a ruby axe, and then it'll drop the log itself, so you don't have to go through the extra trouble, trouble of crafting. Which is why this uh, tier is better than stone and zenite. So that's the logic behind that. Hope you understand. 
And yeah, it works the same way with this as well. Just gotta fix my mouse again. Really? Yeah, I just gotta change the battery, I believe that will definitely fix it. But as you can see, I also got drops from this, but uh, I don't have any more space in my inventory. And as you can tell, there's a lot of apples falling from the trees, and that's going to be another thing that I'm going to be covering today. But for the time being, let's just drop all this off here. Oh yeah, and by the way, I forgot to show you another extra thing, right? Um, let's get the ores. And let's get the ore smelter going. So what the ore, smel ore smelter does is it takes a long time and a lot of uh, resources. For example, two or ores for um, the block. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. That um, It still has the same charge, but it takes longer. Actually, when it takes longer, it takes also more uh, fuel. That's just how it's coded in, so I could not change that. I actually would want to, but that's how it works. So, uh, it's going to give us the actual ores, but it's also going to give us a lot of experience, which is now kind of broken. It doesn't really work at the moment, but I'm trying to fix that. So, uh, there's nothing to show here. But you're supposed to get a lot of experience. So, that's why this is useful. That's why Silk Touch is still useful, right? And that's why having a higher tier tool is useful, unless you hit Ambrosium, because, you know, Ruby doesn't actually give you the, the ore piece. The ore block. So, yeah, it just gives you this. So, you need Silk Touch to mine Ambrosium and to smelt it, which will give you less Ambrosium, but it'll give you a lot of experience. So, if that's what you want, this is the option for you. That's really the use for this block, really. There's nothing else to show. Um... So yeah, by the way, that's how you craft it. Pretty cool, like pretty expensive, but uh, it's worth it. And it looks cool in my opinion too, so. That's the use I found for the Blast Furnace. Um, okay, so carrying on. Let's pick these up. And yes, sticks still drop from uh, leaves as well, which was a 1.14 feature. Okay. You don't really need a tool for that, except shears, which is for the block itself. That's how it always worked. That might actually be it for my... Uh, for my mouse, I believe. No, it still works, okay. Still got something in there. So let's get to mining these stone marions, and for continuity's sake, I also made it so that... You drop... Uh, they drop these uh, shards. So they're not pebbles, but they're called shards for these types of blocks. And as you can see, same thing happens. But when I actually use the rupee pickaxe, this is no smooth variance. It just drops polished variance. So let's keep that going, shall we? It takes a long time to mine with this one, right? So yeah, that's simple enough to understand. Okay, you know, I'll just use my touchpad, because, uh, this mouse is really annoying. So, yeah, that's nothing else to show here, I suppose, really. You've already seen all of that. So, let's get to the polished versions, which are a bit different. So, let's actually get to mining with this. And as you can see, it just drops the regular version, which means like, hey, you gotta get a better tool for this, right? My touchpad's glitchy too. So, just try to ignore it, right, guys? But as soon as you get stone, as soon as you hit the stone pick, it really is the same drops because it's more of a decorative block and I didn't really want to over overcomplicate it. But as you can see, happens the same way over here too. So let's just get rid of this part, shall we? Put it in the chest, you know. Because these actually don't have any other use than this. I want to make, actually, I, want, I can go uh, further than this and actually make it so they drop shards as well at the beginning. But uh, I don't really want to overcomplicate it. I don't think that's necessary for this type of block. So let's... um. Let's put this all in here. Okay. And yeah, it works the same way with orange trees, so you just 
have these bark um, items that you need to craft with the strip logs into normal logs and that's why you need a ruby axe to make it less annoying <laughs> in this trade off so that's part two done there's a lot more to implement for example for different dimensions I want to up the tier so you need a bigger tier a better tier I mean to actually get the items that you want and that means that you actually need to have a better equipment with every dimension you enter for example nether will only give proper drops if you use xanite picks and ant actually will only get you the proper things from ruby pickaxes for example the ant stone will only drop if you use a ruby pickaxe so that's how you gotta level up every time so we can put these in here now finally because there's just one more thing left for you to show left for you to see I mean and uh, I hope you got you know the gist of this part I hope that's not a bit too complicated but let's get to the part 3 of this video which is enchantments so there's only a handful of enchantments at this point but they're still interesting nonetheless so let's use fortune 3 on this wooden axe and as you'll see well not right here but uh here I get way more bark than I usually do not always but that's how fortune works right then I switch to stone and of course fortune doesn't work because I get locks and Fortune doesn't work on the actual block drops because that would be just cheating. So let's use Xanai for example. And same thing, but I get just one log, which makes sense. And obviously, with Ruby, I don't get anything extra because it's uh, just the block itself. And now let's get to Silk Touch. Now, before anybody asks, I'm not going to add extra enchantments because they don't really work properly with the grindstone and with each other, and it's really just not worth it in my opinion. I would rather add custom abilities to the dungeon tools and stuff of that nature than actually introduce new enchantments that were going to be half broken so that's my commentary on that but uh, as you can see this silk touch wooden axe will work always. Even though I have a wooden pickaxe I still get the proper item. Same with the stone, same with the xenite. Oh actually I should not get that, I should get rid of that. Uh, that's a that's a bug and of course obviously the ruby axe so that's how silk touch works and let's get back to these um, items and I'll demonstrate you there how that applies to all of those so let's use fortune at first on the stone and you'll see that it drops way more pebbles four out of that one for example so that's the trade-off and for silk touch if we use a wooden pickaxe we get the stone so that's how that works no matter the tier you have silk touch will give you the drop that uh, you want but it also negates the drop from um, upper levels for example this uh, fortune 3 ruby pickaxe if i use stone uh, i mean xenite one if i use it on stone as you can see, it doesn't drop me the pebbles, which I haven't fixed yet, so just, just just don't worry about it, okay? Just don't worry about it, it's going to be fixed. But that's the idea. Um, so Silk Touch wouldn't give you extra drops, so it, it's better to get Silk Touch on lower tier tools, or in case with Stone, if you get Smooth Stone, right? Well, that doesn't... If you don't want to get Smooth Stone, for example, it's good to enchant the ruby pickaxe with silk touch, then you don't get the smooth stone, you could just get the stone you want. But if you use a xenite pickaxe, then you don't get the pebbles. Which I haven't fixed yet, but you know, it's going to happen. So that's how it works. It's not perfect, obviously, that's why it's designed this way. But it also is useful if you have a lower tier tool to get what you want from these blocks. For example, let's use fortune on this. And you can tell there's way more shards dropping from it right that doesn't work obviously when it's a full block drop for example this so that's working properly and silk touch well you get the point right even though it's the highest tier when it's silk touch you just get the regular item so that works the same on all of these um, 
Hopefully, you know, reason to show it off. I gotta get rid of that extra pebble drop, by the way. I mean, extra shard drop. So, keep that in mind. Now, I actually wanted to show you the fortune shovel on this because it's going to be really powerful. But let's finish with the big axes, shall we? So, jeez, this this mouse, man. It's really hard to play in both of them. So, I don't know. I just want to stick to the mouse because it's way more better, way better. So, as you can see, instead of one, it dropped four that time. Let's get to Ruby. As you can see, it gives us the ore, which is only one block, obviously, and uh, a lot of uh, orange shit. So, that's really cool. And obviously, Silk Touch will give us the ore. So, that's still working the same way. Now, let's get to Xanite. Fortune. As you can see, will give us additional Xanite. Silk Touch. That wooden pickaxe doesn't work still, unfortunately. I can I could fix it, but I unfortunately I cannot do it. But um, that's just how the game works. Oh, that's pretty loud. So I don't have any more space in my inventory to show you off this uh, mechanic. But um, wow, that's a lot of stuff in my inventory. And uh, yeah, also what you saw from the the drops of the trees. Yeah, you don't get any saplings. You just get the fruits, and not all. Trees will be like fruit trees, I don't think, but maybe a handful, at least these two, the orange and the apple trees will have a, definitely be like that. So yeah, as you can see, I still get it from the Silk Touch, and now, works on all tiers, which is cool, I gotta fix that in other variants. So now you need Zenai to mine this, and with Zenai, oh boy, you get so many Ambrosia when you have Fortune 3 on. I mean, just look at that. 10 right away. 31. That's crazy, right? And, uh, yeah. You still get the stone. But if you use Silk Touch, obviously, you can get the ore, which is the only way to get it. See, that should give me way more than uh, it is. But I'm going to fix that if I can. Maybe that's just a Minecraft thing that's not working properly. So, yeah, we're done with these, really. Let's now show you the shovels, and I bet you can already tell what's going to happen, right? So, before you saw that ruby shovels would get you the, the grass block, that's actually going to change. Now you will only be able to get it with, um, wow. Yeah, that's one of the side effects. With silk touch. So, yeah, that's how block motives work. They're kind of easy to break. But uh, as I said, that'll be fixed, so don't worry about it. Let's get this fortune shovel, I believe, right? And when we actually get the pebbles, we'll get more of them. So yeah, that's a higher chance to get them. Unless I forgot to implement that feature, which I'm sorry, even if that's the case. Let's just mine more. And if I actually get the ruby pick out, I mean the shovel... You also get to be able to get more sticks, which I might have not added yet. But, it, you know, by the looks of things, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I think I've added it. So yeah, um, that's really all I have to show you is the dirt. Now, there are other soil blocks like quick soil and sand and all the powder. So there, there is stuff like this still in the pack, you know, obviously I didn't get rid of it. Uh, but uh, there's not much use for the shovel at the moment. It'll be useful for like soul sand, of course, obviously. And whatever other uh, dirty... Dirty, I said dirty. <laughs> Dirt kind of item they add. I mean block, so... Don't worry about that. And let's show off our bank, what we have here so far. About half an hour radio, but as you can see, this is a very deep and detailed and... Um, structured mechanic. Which will really spice up the game. And I think it's really cool. So, on that note, let's just finish the video, I guess. But before we go, I want to finish this tree. Uh, you know, it doesn't really change anything. I just like seeing the oranges drop, really. That's my... That's really why I'm doing this. Oh, 
Let's get on top of it and we'll finish this tree off. They actually grow really tall sometimes. That's pretty crazy. And you can actually also grow them um, a two by two. So yeah, that's how this tree works. And it drops oranges and it spawns in the tropic biomes, which is the replacement for the jungle biomes. So that's all the info you're gonna get about these trees, and they drop cool, cool new things. So apples can give you two drumsticks, while oranges give you two and a half, because they're way bigger as you can tell. And you know, it's a rare biome, it should give you more uh, saturation, I think, makes sense to me. There may be more stuff with oranges coming in the future, but right now that's really the only use for them. So yeah, no saplings. Saplings will be obtainable in chests, and I think trading with villagers will also give you that, but I have not implemented any of this yet. But they will not be rare. They will not be renewable like they are right now, because if you get one sapling, you're, you know, set for life, basically. But, um... Here I made it more interesting, so we actually need to find the new saplings instead of just getting it from the trees. But in substitute from that, you know, trees are actually a good food source as well now, which was not a thing before. So that's cool, I think. So yeah, lots of new interesting cool ways to change up the game. And I don't know why I placed that here. I hope you guys enjoy this mechanic. Please leave your feedback because I want to know what you think of it. Thanks for watching this half an hour long video, that's crazy. I really did not expect it to go this long. But as you can see by the textures and the loot tables, there's a lot of stuff still need that I still need to finish. And uh, I don't really have much to show you. But I can make one more video on this topic, actually. Because I have one feature that's pretty much finished. Pretty much. So I might do that one too. But for now, I think that's going to be update for today he just starts working like that really suddenly it's really funny sometimes if only it wasn't that painful but um that's really it for today i guess and uh, i don't have a proper model for this as well yet but i will so oh, that's pretty crazy too so as always guys thank you all for watching don't forget to ring my bell smash like and subscribe and also check out my uh, Discord and the Twitter because those are actually the only places I really update because it's really inconvenient to have, you know, to upload to YouTube constantly, like new videos. You need to render them, you need to make the thumbnails and all that stuff. It's really not convenient to me. So if I want to show off something new I've added, I'll just post a screenshot or two. And that's happening very frequently and regularly. So check out my Discord and Twitter if you want to receive different updates because I post different stuff there. So, yeah. That's it really, and as always, day.